Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace Apple Watch Series 3 battery in 2024. And these are the tools that you might need during the process of replacing the battery. It should be noted that when purchasing the Apple Watch battery, all of these tools will be included in the package. So this Apple Watch has been used for about 7 years and I have never actually replaced the battery of this Apple Watch up to this point. And as you know that right now, Apple Watch Series 10 has already been released, but the Apple Watch Series 3 still works perfectly fine. The only problem it has right now is the battery. So to replace it, first of all, you have to shut your Apple Watch down by pressing hold on the side button for about three seconds. And it will pop up these options here, you just slide to power it off. Once the device is off, it's time to pry it open to replace the battery. And in order to pry it open, you need to heat it first to loosen the adhesive. Ranging from a few minutes to about 4 or 5 minutes, depending on whether your heat gun is set to low heat mode or high heat mode. Remember not to heat for too long if you don't want to risk damaging the screen. You can use the heat gun several times during the process. If the first time it doesn't loosen much, you can also try again. But try not to heat the screen at one time for too long. I am using the razor blade here. This one come included in the box when I purchased the battery. It is thin and it's easy to cut through the adhesive, but you have to be cautious when using it. You can also make use of alcohol to ensure that the process of removing the screen is effective and less time consuming. But make sure it is at least 97% alcohol so that it won't damage what's inside. Like I told you, you can make use of the heat gun several times during the process until the adhesive is loosened completely and the screen can be pried open safely. Right now the adhesive has been loosened completely and when you use the razor blade to cut through the adhesive, make sure not to go too deep otherwise you will cut through other important cables inside the watch especially the force touch sensor that is actually used by Apple as the adhesive to glue the screen to the casing. And if you're not careful enough, you will cut through it and you will need to buy and replace the force touch sensor cable. Otherwise, when you force touch on the screen to change the Apple Watch faces, nothing will happen. Just like in my case here, I find it the hard way. I actually cut through the force touch sensor cable. Luckily enough, I also bought a replacement of the force touch sensor cable. And if you want to know how to replace the force touch sensor cable, please watch my next video. I will show you how to do that. Once the screen is pried open, it's time to remove the screen from its housing. To do so, we have to remove the three cables connected to the screen here. These cables are held in place by three ZIF connectors. So we have to open the clamps of these connectors at the edge of the cables so that the three cables can be safely removed. We have to gently and slowly remove them. Now once the screen is out of the way, it's time to deal with the battery. We need to remove this screw right here so that we can detach the battery cable. Next we need to peel this up. Once it's open, it will present you with the battery and force touch sensor connectors protective cover. We need to peel some more so that we can access the connectors and detach them easily. The first connector that we're going to detach is the force touch sensor connector. As you can see in my case that the force touch sensor flex cable has been torn during the process of removing the screen, which means I have to replace it as well. But if you're careful enough when removing the screen, your force touch sensor flex cable won't be damaged, then you can reuse it. So now I have to peel it and replace it with a new one. If you want to know how to replace the force touch sensor flex cable, please watch my next video specifically showing you how to do that. Next, it's time to remove the battery connector. Once it is disconnected, it's time to remove the battery from the housing. Because the Apple Watch battery adhesive is not much, we can just use the pry tool to pry the battery out without using any alcohol. The battery itself looks a little bit swollen. Of course, it has been used for 7 years. There's no surprise for that. Now it's time to replace it with a new battery. Just peel this adhesive protected sheet and stick the new battery back to its place.
make sure to press on the battery a little bit so that the adhesive will stick to the housing. Now it's time to reattach the battery connector. It's recommended to use the plastic pair of tweezers. But in my case, when I bought the battery, it comes included with the metal tweezers. I have no choice but to use it, but it is recommended to use the plastic ones. It's a painstakingly difficult process to reattach the connector, but I eventually managed to reattach it. Next, it's time to reattach the force touch sensor connector. Once again, it's quite challenging to reattach it, but I managed to do it at the end. Next, put the connectors, protect the cover back, and screw them back. Next, re-stick the adhesive protective tape. If you find it not sticky enough, you may also use double tape to help. Next, it's time to reattach the screen 3 flex cables. You have to be very gentle with it, otherwise you may break the flex cable. And of course, once you have inserted each of the flex cable, you have to close the clamp at the edge of the cable to ensure that each cable is snapped into place. Now it's time to test if the replacement works. Because I tried to turn it on and it doesn't turn on, I presume that the battery is at 0%, so I have to charge it. And right now you can see the Apple logo. With this Apple logo, it clearly demonstrates that my replacement was a success. So the new replacement battery on Apple Watch seems to be different from battery replacement on Apple other devices, where the new replacement battery would come with 50 or 60% charge. But for the Apple Watch battery here, it comes at 0% charge. However, after having been using it for about a week, the new battery seemed to last longer than the previous one. I could now use my Apple Watch two days without charging. Now it's time to peel the adhesive protective plastic covering the force touch sensor flex cable which is also used as an adhesive to stick the screen back to its housing. If you have to reuse your force touch sensor cable adhesive and it's not sticky anymore, you may use glue that comes included with the battery. But there are two disadvantages of using glue instead of adhesive. First of all, it will need up to an hour for the glue to actually stick the screen to the housing. Second, if you want to pry the Apple Watch screen open in the future to replace something in it, you're going to have a hard time removing the screen because the glue will be too strong. Now my Apple Watch has boot up to its home screen. Once again, it clearly shows that I have successfully replaced my Apple Watch Series 3's battery. Even the force touch sensor also works after it has been replaced with a new one. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.